Snap, crackle, and pop. I didn't realize we were talking about what our bones do after we turn 28. That one's for all the parents. Merry Christmas. You deserve it too. Hey there and welcome back to Snackable. So today on Snackable, I am being a hypocrite. Uh, I was very, very clear around Halloween time that when a you know, a company came out and they said, hey, it's Halloween time. We're going to change the color of these or do something very lazy, change the shape or something. And now they're Halloween that I thought that was lazy. I thought it was like dumb. I thought, man, you could have done this in such such a better way. And you didn't. Uh, and I, I always hated that. I was always so, so clear about that. However, I really think it's cool when they do it for Christmas. So maybe I just hate Halloween. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm OK with it, but I think I like Christmas more, obviously. But today we're trying Rice Krispies with holiday colors. So literally no different name that they tried. They're being just as blatant about it as anyone else. There's red and there's green Krispies in there. Um, I haven't had the actual cereal Rice Krispies for maybe 20 years. I think I may have had it as a kid. I mean, I eat Rice Krispies all the time. If they're at a party, I will eat 10 of them. That's just the way it is. They were they were just at the youth group that I was just at the other day. I had like 15 of them. I, you know, nobody else was going to. Can't go to waste. So I'll eat them. I love Rice Krispies. Uh, however, I've ne I, I haven't really been crazy about the cereal. Uh, so this is sort of like a new experience, trying it with milk and everything. Normally it's just like, you know, being shoved full force into my mouth. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be a little different. Now, obviously, you can use these, as you can any other Rice Krispie, to make the Rice Krispie treats. Uh, however, we're not doing that today because we're doing this. These boxes were always a menace to open when I was a kid. Because I, well, w one time, literally, probably just one time, I cut my finger open on the cardboard, and a cardboard cut is worse than anything else in the world. You know, childbirth, out the window. Cardboard cut from a cereal box, much worse. You gotta, you gotta believe me. I'm sorry. These are just the facts. Yeah, I'm, I'm always surprised that it's really the marshmallow that brings out the smell of Rice Krispie treats, um, because these really don't have any like good smell to them. Like they're just, they're, they're, they're scentless. Uh, so we got a bowl right here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pour. So as you can see, there is a good amount of like different colors in there. Um, I'd probably say it's like 20% red, 20% green, and then 60% just the regular white, tan, whatever you want to call it, uh, which I wish there'd be more of the holiday colors, but hey, it's all right. Even if they threw ones that were like stars in there, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, this is, this is festive. This looks holiday-like. Oh my gosh. It's snapping, it's crackling, it's popping. That was another thing I forgot. I forgot that, like, that name is because of what it does in milk. This is a fun experience without the colors and everything. Just this, because I haven't heard this for a long time. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, also, I'm really sorry about, like, the mess behind me. Usually I have it completely clean, but I'm trying to get like 30 things done today and one of them is wrapping all the presents so apologies for that oh my gosh it's become like a paste at this point it, it listen it is literally sticking together all right let's do this This is interesting because I can figure out why I would have loved it as a kid and also why I would have hated it as a kid. Uh, so just straight off the bat, there's no taste. There's no flavor. Like you taste the milk and these things that are in your mouth that have no taste to them at all. No flavor. It's very weird. Uh, but that snap, crackle, and popping that you hear when like the milk goes in, that's pretty next level. Uh, that by itself would probably leave this at an eight. Um, but with the flavor, it goes down. So that's why it's difficult. I'm thinking right now because let's just say it didn't do the crackle and pop. It's probably a four easily because it's not bad, but it's also not good. Um, 
the, I mean, the, the, the problem is this can be used to make amazing Rice Krispie treats. But the flavor of it now, it's just difficult. But it's really, I'm shocked that it has no flavor. And technically, I would argue that the cereal is supposed to be the primary way of consuming this. Uh, a lot of people make Rice Krispie treats, but the whole, you know, snap, crackle, and pop, it's only because of when it is hitting water or milk or whatever liquid you put into it. It's, it's going to crackle and pop and snap. Uh, it's interesting. All right. All right. I've made a decision. That the high council is speaking. If we're just going by the taste, it's a three. Okay. However, it all comes into effect. So I'm, I'm just explaining my math to you. Now, because of the snap crackling and popping, I'm going to bring it up to a five. And because of the Christmas colors, I'm going to bring it to a six. So these are a six. However, without the color, that's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try them because it's pretty much exactly what I tasted just without the colors. It's, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's a three. Uh, but this is this right here, this one, which is important right here. This is a six. So it is snackable, but boy, barely. Please like and comment down below. If you don't watch that video, please have a Merry Christmas. And I appreciate you guys. And then, you know, we're, we're starting into, you know, winding down the year and getting into the new year. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess we'll have to see what we're eating next time. Bye.